Hey guys, welcome back to the video. This is gonna be a different video, um, but technically, I, uh, or should I say, I got this truck um, like two months ago. Uh, I've always wanted a truck, so I just said, screw it, I'm gonna go get a truck. I have a, so now I have a 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 and a 2020 Honda Civic hatchback. Um, so I really had no plans for this truck. Um, I've always wanted to do mobile detailing, um, but had no vehicle to really do it. Um, I've got calls from people in California and LA and stuff like that, that, um, so my town is really, it's known for RVs. We ship out like nine out of 10 RVs in America are made in Elkhart where I live. Um, so we specialize in RVs. So I have a bunch of, I have a decent amount of people that call me from across the state saying that they have rvs here getting either worked on or they bought one and they want me to go to the dealership or wherever they have it and detail it but i just don't have um a mobile rig i should say um so today i'm going to go drop off my beautiful truck and she's going to get wrapped um i wanted to get a fully wrapped um, I want to change this color. Uh, I'll show you guys the outside in a little bit, but this is a blue. I really love this color of blue, um, but I really want to wrap this truck matte black and get my logo and everything plastered on this truck. But for now, I'm just going to do a half wrap and all I'm going to do is um, put my logo, um, things that I do on the sides, like have it say interior, extra, like all that. I might pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, it doesn't look the best, but I'm hoping it looks better in real life. Um, but for $1,000, um, it's basically just advertising on my truck. Um, hopefully it works. And this summer, I'm going to build uh, a mobile detailing rig in the back. Uh, I've actually been buying um, stuff at mobile detail, like uh, generators and stuff like that I, ha I have almost everything except i need a hundred gallon um water tank and then i'll be set um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the exterior of this truck and um here in a couple days once the vehicle is done and wrapped uh i'll show you guys okay so right here she is i have <laughs> i actually did tint these headlights myself um if you get close they look horrible you can see bubbles and stuff um but i am i want to upgrade this whole truck i want to black out all this chrome i do not like chrome i'm gonna black out all of that get a whole new everything i'm getting everything new new headlights um this is why i want to wrap it i love this blue but like this paint is just really rough i want to put like a five inch or a seven inch lift on this truck and new rims too i'm not a big fan of those um but this is the truck it's a pretty nice truck um like i said i want to black out all that chrome get a whole new front end i'm wrapping both sides with uh, my logo right here and then my number is going to be right there and right here is going to say basically what i do and stuff and the back end is going to be full too um i'm getting a new bumper hasn't as an exhaust already but yeah, I'm really excited to uh, see this when it's done. Okay, guys, it's been uh, a day. It's, it hasn't even been a day yet since uh, um, I recorded the last part. But long story short, I dropped it off there. It took the dude less than an hour to do it. He said he wanted to keep it overnight to make sure the, the wrap cures and everything. But he said he put heat on it or something. I don't know what he did, but long story short... I paid a thousand dollars for this wrap and it took him an hour to do it. That man's hustling out here. Um, I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you guys. Um, like I said, this truck is definitely a project truck. Uh, I've always wanted a truck and this is the first truck I've ever gotten. Um, I got it about two months ago. Um, I'm wanting to put a five inch or a seven inch lift on it. I'm wanting to get brand new bumpers um, on front and rear, new headlights. Uh, new rims and everything so it's definitely a project truck and obviously it's gonna be my mobile detailing truck so i'm a, i'm still trying to figure out what i'm doing in the back um i've been watching a lot of videos um of detailing mobile detailing vehicles i don't know if i want to put a top on top of it and then have it where something slides out or 
I was also thinking about something that like uh, have a have something go across here where it can swing up and down. So when I'm not using it, um, it swings down. But like with all my hoses and reels and stuff, like my my um, air hose and my all the hoses on one rack. And once I'm not using it, it swings down. But when I'm using it, it swings up. I don't know. Um, still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. But other than that, I'm gonna hurry up and show you guys what the wrap looks like. Now I have never detailed this truck yet. It is winter here where I live. Um, but just saying these headlights are trash. There's like moisture and stuff in them. And I wrap these myself, as you can tell. They look like shit if you get up close. Uh, I'm getting new headlights, new front bumper, uh, new grill. I'm deleting all the chrome. I hate chrome, um, but I'm gonna get everything new. Um, I'm wanting to eventually wrap this whole truck even though I do like this color there are some paint spots missing and stuff like that um, but this is my 2014 GMC Sierra um, like I said this wrap costs a grand um, I think it looks pretty good on camera I was like uh, you know I really really wasn't happy about it um, but blue wave detailing there's my logo and uh, this is basically um everything i do right now well, in mobile detailing i'm getting into that this um the summer fall uh spring i'm getting into mobile detailing i do interior detailing hand wash and wax carpet upholstery cleaning um i obviously do more than that but i don't want to put a whole list on here i will see my number um and then the back same thing my number logo and stuff right here just saying what i what i do and everything um this side same thing number logo and everything but i think it looks really good i was gonna say great i said great and good at the same time kind of but i'm really in love with this vehicle these and these windows are tinted really tinted i honestly think it might be illegal how tinted they are you can't even even if you put your eye up to it you can barely see in there um but yeah that's my detailing truck or will be my detailing truck um like i said get, if you guys have any video ideas or send me pictures of your detailing rig um for your trucks uh i have an instagram blue wave details um send me pictures or tag me or something um, like I said, I really need some, need some ideas. And, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I just started uh, promoting my business and stuff. I've been detailing for about three years and, um, every, every winter I take a break, but recently it is winter time still. Um, recently I got laid off of my job. Um, RV factories are pretty slow right now. And uh, so I'm trying to go full time, which I've spent about two weeks since I've been promoting it. Um, I got one for sure detail done. Uh, I had a detail today, but he called off and canceled. Um, I had a, I've had a couple calls, but man, I've spent probably $500 already on promoting my business. And it just sucks to, it just sucks to get one detail um a couple calls and a one call off um but it's always been like this for me running this detailing business um you really don't see any progress in growing customers until like two months after you promote your business um so i'm guessing here in a month or two i'll start seeing a lot more customers but every summer and spring it's like this uh you you put so much money and effort into your business and you don't see jack squat for the first month or two. Um, and then boom, you start getting four or five customers a week. Um, that's what happened last year. Um, but yeah, that truck is definitely a project. Um, obviously, I want to build a mobile detailing bed before I start putting lift kits on it. Before I start getting brand new rims and stuff like that. Um but one thing I will be doing before I be building the truck bed is getting new headlights. Those headlights are trash. You can't see <laughs> at night, really. Um, but, yeah, that's my tr detailing truck or 
whatever you want to call it. Um, if you guys want me to do any sp special videos or sh show you guys my detailing equipment or anything like that, just comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to build this um, YouTube channel up and it'd be fun to, you know, start recording my details and um, the progress of my business. Um, but other than that, guys, this is your boy from Blue Wave Detailing. Peace out.